Hello everyone and welcome to Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a Gaming Twist. I am Clifton and today we are doing Doc Swenson's Whiskey. We have three different expressions including their new Alter Ego line. We also have their 15 year old bourbon, Kentucky bourbon. We don't know the distillery so we're going to make some guesses. Um, we're going to be trying those and I'm going to compare that with a 15 year old Knob Creek limited edition that came out last year I think. So going to have 15 year old 15-year-old Jim Beam compared to supposedly 15-year-old Jim Beam, which is what the rumors, what all the rumors point to. I just realized my head is getting cut off here. So there we go. There we go. What's everyone doing? How's everyone? What's everyone doing? Hopefully you're watching me. How is everyone doing here tonight? Thank you for tuning in this Thursday evening. So you guys are chatting a bit in the chat earlier tonight. I'll give a couple shout outs to our mods here. I see Donnie the Linux cat. Donnie's going to keep track of entries for our giveaway tonight, which I put the info to the left, but I'll tell you in a bit too. Um, I also see Brandon. What's up, Brandon? Gonna be hanging with Brandon tomorrow. I'm so excited to see him. And of course, some amazing patrons here in the chat as well. Don, Ashita, Sugar Kitty, Lil, Perry. This is my burn podcast. Go check out his stream if you missed it earlier tonight. I caught part of it and then I had to like go into, I got sucked into work. So, but I was there for a good chunk of it though. So definitely go check that out. What's up, Bourbon Noob Patrick? Patrick sent me an awesome bottle of wild turkey masters keep the australia and new zealand exclusive release um so go um i was gonna say go check that out but i posted it on instagram if you want to see a picture of it um so <laughs> what's up everyone thanks y'all for popping in saying hello wesley zeller good to see you adriana whiskey mountains um nick proman sugar kitty i already said sugar kitty zofer what's up i'm gonna also be seeing zofer tomorrow too scary peeper what's up man good to see you Awesome. So good to see, see y'all here tonight. Um, this one is, so this is actually a whiskey that I reached out to the distillery. I've heard so much about Doc Swinson's, especially out here in Southern California. Um, never tried it. So I was like, hey, you know, I originally hoped to have them on the stream. Um, they actually expressed interest in joining me for a stream, but didn't end up working out. So, but they did send me some awesome samples. So with that, they also sent me a bonus. They sent me an extra of the Alter Ego Bourbon, which you can't tell because I have a green screen, but it is a bonus sample of the Alter Ego Bourbon. So I thought, you know what? I could definitely give this away. So what I'll do is I will go back to my old method of a giveaway with the Super Chat. So every $1 Super Chat gets you one entry. So if you want to send a $5 Super Chat, that gets you five entries. But you're not just winning that. You're winning the Alter Ego Bourbon, a sample of a 15 year limited edition Knob Creek. As you can tell, it's getting very, very low. So I want to share my last little bit of it. Um, and I might throw in a few other goodies in there too. Um, so if you're interested, like I said, that super chats do directly help the channel. So anytime throughout the night, if you want to send in a super chat, you'll be entered to win those two samples plus some extra goodies too. So, um, but yeah, so like I have a bonus one of that. So let me put that aside and save it for you. Um, but yeah, so these are their Alter Ego releases. Now, they're two different ones. They're not the same. I, I was I thought they were maybe the same kind of finish because they had the same name, but they're actually very, very different, the bourbon and the rye. So um, I do, I, I haven't gotten into it yet. I'm drinking my, um, a little bit leftover sample of my Courage and Conviction American Single Malt, which if you missed my stream on Monday, I went live with the Whiskey Dick Bill over on his channel. So go check it out. We had a distillery wrap on, um, we tried like, their, their cuvee, cuvee finish, their sherry finish, and their bourbon finish, and their, their final product. We did a little bit of blending experiments too. So watch it and find out. Did I beat the master blender at her job? You have to see it to find out. <laughs> but cheers, you guys. What are you guys drinking? I don't, I don't, did I already ask that? I didn't see your answers yet. So um, Brandon says we need to have another turkey night stream. I'm always down for some turkey night. Um, thank you, <laughs> Adriana and... Um, Oh, okay. I was like, y'all just copy and paste. I was like, wait. I was like, wait, y'all's message sounds exactly the same. <laughs> well, nice. And I think Adriana is actually helping keep track of the entries tonight. So cheers, Adriana. Thank you. Thank you so much. You and Donnie, y'all are awesome. Um, they're testing. Don, Donnie has like a new spreadsheet that he's testing out. We're going to do, of course, the, the giveaway. It's not going to just be an average giveaway. Oh, no. We're doing a wheel of whiskey giveaway. So we are going to spin this wheel and we're going to find out who wins once we have all our entries tonight. So if you want to see your name, well, someone wants to see their name on the, so on the wheel. There is our first super chat of the night, Zofer, with $5 super chat. He said, let's get it started. Oh, the, the applause is for the wheel, but it works for you too, Zofer. <laughs> and another super chat coming in here from Tammy Brinicky. She says, don't think I've ever had a chance to try Doc Swinson's, so hoping to win. Well, Tammy and Zofer, here's your shot. So 
Their names will be entered on the Wheel of Whiskey once we get to the giveaway at the end of tonight's stream. Um, but for now, let's let's get into this whiskey. So let me finish off my um, my courage and conviction from Monday. This hasn't been poured since Monday. I just, I just had a little bit left over the sample. Um, <laughs> Bourbon Doom says, I win. Is your name Test? Are you a Test subject? Um, oh, okay, I'll draw on a copy and paste it. <laughs> um, Whiskey Mountain's hair is styling for Clifton tonight. Hair is styling for Clifton. Whiskey Mountain. What? Her hair? I mean, I got a haircut, but it's, it's nothing fancy. <laughs> nothing fancy. Wow. That's my subject. I'm not even drunk yet. I know I've just like I had my first pour just now. I had a cocktail with dinner, and that's all I've had. So I I need to get caught up. So I think. Um, all right, someone tell me what you're drinking. I haven't heard a single person tell me what they're drinking. If I missed it, I apologize. Let me know what y'all are drinking tonight. Do y'all have these Alter Ego bourbons? I know Donnie and Diana have it at their store because Diana sent a picture earlier today, and she's like, "Has anyone tried this?" I'm like, "Funny you ask that, Diana. I am streaming that tonight. So Diana, I hope you're not playing your game over there. I hope you're watching and listening." Um, what's up, Stanley Wagner Jr.? What's up, Stanley? Good to see you. Um, I saw that you didn't go live tonight. Um, Stanley normally goes live on Thursdays on Instagram Live. I believe it's at 5 p.m. Pacific. Am I correct with that, Stanley? Follow him at The Mash Bill. Um, go on Instagram. He also has a YouTube channel here, so go subscribe to him there. Definitely add to your Saturday night lineup. As, y- as a lot of y'all know, Ed and Erica are taking a bit of a hiatus from the Rock Gut Review, so there will not they will not be on at their normal time of 6 um, I'm still planning to stick at the seven o'clock time. Maybe depending on how long. I mean, if they're going to be gone for a few weeks. I'm not going to like steal their time slot. But if it like, ends up being like a little extended situation, I might move back an hour earlier. But I'll definitely check with them first. I obviously wouldn't just do that without their <laughs> without asking them first. So, uh, but yeah, but they, definitely check out the replay of their stream tonight. Um, they did like a WrestleMania cocktail kind of competition. So go check that out. It was a lot of fun. The bit that I got to watch. Um, okay, normally yes, gotcha. Um, What's up, Perry? Yeah, Perry, I said hey to you earlier. He you said you're here. <laughs> What's up? Thank you for joining, Perry. Um, oh, Lord Shane Long. Oh, loving the redoutable, redoutable, blah, that, that, that four square. I'm glad you're liking it, man. Good to see you. I think you're you're the person that, that tagged me in our local Facebook group, right? I don't know. I don't know the name, but <laughs> well, good to see you, Lord. Lord Shane Long. That the full name. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you pronounce it? Adriana knows what's up. If y'all missed that stream, go check out how I try to pronounce these four square names. <laughs> we could do a joint stream from 9 to 10 while they're off. Maybe, Perry. Maybe. It's like a in-between, like to keep the to keep the thing rolling from your stream, which is at 5, to theirs. Oh, uh, that... Perry, let's, let's chat. I might be down. As long as I can't do 5 because I'm supposed to be working, but I could definitely probably do 6. I gotta eat dinner sometime, though. I literally just finished eating dinner, so maybe. We'll see if it works. <laughs> All right. Redoubtable. I know. I always mispronounce it. <laughs> um, wasn't as bad as... What was the other word? Those of you that were there, what was the other word that I... Um, oh, long run hood. Okay, gotcha. I thought you were someone... Someone in my... Um, it was funny. I was on a local Facebook. It was like a Los Angeles whiskey club, and I posted a picture of my blue spot, which... FYI, there's a review of that coming very, very soon. I hope to get it up on Saturday. It's not going to be up this Saturday, so early next week, a review of the new Blue Spot Irish Whiskey. I posted it, and someone's like, it's Bourbon Bites. I'm like, oh, wait, is this? <laughs> and they also mentioned that they um, they had bought the the Redoubtable. So thank you. Thank you, Adriana. She says, like the video, y'all. Yes, if y'all have not yet liked it, I know we haven't gotten into the whiskey yet, but I promise y'all, if you hit that thumbs up button right now, I'll get into the Alter Ego Bourbon, which is where we're going to start with tonight. Day <laughs> Tente. Yes, the detente. Okay, okay. Donnie remembers. Donnie remembers. All right, so let's go into the triple cask finished bourbon. Now, this one is finished in PX sherry, Oloroso sherry, and cognac barrels. It comes in at 47.9% ABV, 95.8 proof. Uh, what else do they tell us about it here? So it's a triple cask bourbon. Um, cognac punchins, which is the word we learned recently with um the whiskey dick over on his channel so definitely go check that out um, i didn't know what that word meant and it uses that and they use px cast oloroso sherry and then x cognac now this is a five-year-old minimum indiana bourbon y'all know what that means uh, but five years which is fi- i've had five-year-old I- indiana bourbon i'm gonna be pol- politically correct call it indiana bourbon um and it's delicious uh, old scout has some really really awesome picks of that at um cast strength 
So this isn't Castro. This is a little bit lower proof, but still, it's non-chill filtered. Thank God, <laughs> as we learned with our guest from our Scotch distillery last Thursday. If you missed that, really fun stream with Glendron. Oh man, I moved my bottle. Was it Glendronic? I think it was Glendronic, <laughs> probably. Y'all know I'm bad with Scotch names. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so this is yeah. That's there's some more info about. It. We can get into it as we're sipping on it. Uh, but let's go and get something in our glass because I'm very curious to. See how this triple cask finish affects this whiskey. So, have y'all seen Doc Swenson's in your area? Like I said, they're blowing up here in Southern California. Very curious if, if it's making its way around the country. I know it's in Tennessee, um, which is where Donnie and Diana were that saw it. Um, Al Dente. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Um, I know Patrick has, I don't know if he has a bottle or a sample, but yeah. Well, Patrick, you're going to find out tonight um, if it's any good. <laughs> now, the only thing I don't know, I need to know this. This is something that's very important when I'm when I'm judging a whiskey. I'm really bad about forgetting to pull up the prices of things. So we're going to we're gonna look up the price of these two on my store. Do, do, do. All right. This one is $60. This the, the bourbon is $60. The rye is only $40. So good info to know as I'm going into this tasting. Um, what's up, Bubble Bath Bourbon? Rot Gut sent you. Well, tell him I said thank you, and also tell him that I uh, I sent people over to watch his replay because I, I know it's a their little their, their kickoff to their hiatus. So, but it was really fun the bit that I got to watch their stream. So, y'all go check them out. What's up, Emily? Good to see you. Emily's another mod here of the channel. What's up, Cohen? How's it going, man? No Swinsons around where Sugar Kitty's at. Um. Uh... Keep hearing it, but not around there. Yeah, so it has a really limited, I guess, area of distribution, but it's it's slowly making its way around the country, at least I think, <laughs> based on what I've been hearing. Um, what's a lot of people coming in, hopefully from the Rock Gut Review. Thank you, Ed. Again, if Ed makes it in, and Erica, tell them I said thanks for um, referring, ref referring people over. Wow, I'm so good with words, y'all. All right, so I poured that in the wrong glass. Yeah, I'll pour it in this glass. Because with their sample kits, they also sent me a cute little Doc Swenson's Glencairn, which I am always, I love these like branded Glencairns. Maybe, let me know if y'all are curious in getting a Bourbon Bites Glencairn, because it's a possibility. If y'all want something etched with my logo on it or something that, you know, is Bourbon Bites related, let me know. By the way, speaking of merch, I just added my own skateboard into my um, Threadless store, bourbonbites.threadless.com. It is a take on the Tony Hawk Pro Skater logo. It actually came up as a joke last night. We were talking in our group chat with Perry. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a freaking Tony Hawk Pro Skater um, uh, skateboard. So bourbonbites.threadless.com if you wanna take a look at that. I also put it on some t-shirts too. If anyone's curious, I think it looks cool. I'm gonna be buying a shirt with that logo on it. I may not buy a skateboard because it'll never get used, but. Um, oh, sorry, I missed a question. What's up? Adriana says, um, what is the proof? Sorry, you missed it. No worries. This is 95.8 um, or 95.8 proof. So 47.9% ABV. Yeah, so for those of you that are just now coming in, I am giving away a sample of this Alter Ego bourbon. I have an extra sample to give away as well as a 15-year Knob Creek sample. Um, this is the limited edition release that came out last year. Um, and maybe a few other goodies. So every dollar that is super chatted here tonight gets you an entry into tonight's giveaway. Donnie and Adriana are keeping track of it. Thank you all so much. And we're going to spin the wheel of whiskey to reveal the winner um, at the end of tonight's stream. So you can enter for as little as $1. So with that, let's go, let's go ahead and get to the whiskey. How about that? So this, this is the Doc Swenson's bourbon. Like I said, this is three cask finish. It is Polar, Poloroso. Well, it has like Polaroid. PX, Oloroso, and X Cognac cask. Okay, not too much on the nose. Now, I, it has, I did just pour this, so maybe give it a minute to open up. What's up, Mood to Move? Hey, everyone, still rotten. Cheers, cheers to you, and cheers to everyone that's new. If, you, if you're new here, I go live at 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern every Thursday night, right after Ed, usually. Um, so yeah, it's definitely continuing night over here. Or if you know, if you're going to be missing him, like I will be missing him and Erica, um, then set a reminder to come check me out an hour later, <laughs> but cheers everyone. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Okay. It's a lot lighter than I thought. I know this, is, I mean, it's, it's, but it's almost 95 Point eight. That's almost 96 proof, almost 100 proof. 
it drinks really light. I'm actually very surprised. That drinks a lot lower proof, which is unique. It, it It's a good taste, though. First impression is it's really nice on the palate. But I guess I expected it to be a pack a little bit more of a punch. Maybe it's just been a minute since I've had a sub-100 proof bourbon. Y'all know I'm a bit of a proof whore here, so uh, maybe. But I did. I was drinking rum before this in my cocktail, and, you know, it's not like I started with castor and then I, like, moved down to this. No, this is the first first neat pour of the night. It is, I think it's opening up a bit on the nose now. I'm getting a lot of fruitiness. I mean, there's two different types of sherry in here. So obviously it's going to be lean towards the red fruits, the cranberries, the... Um, sometimes I get strawberry. I don't quite get that on this. There's some cherry, but it's like cherry coated with something. Maybe like a chocolate covered cherry. It's not like a fresh cherry. And it's also, thank God, not like the medicinal cherry that I'm not a fan of. It is like a chocolate coated like if you had a chocolate coated cherry but it didn't have that like gooey like syrupy center like it was a straight up cherry that was just coated in chocolate that's what it smells like on the nose yeah maybe some maybe some raspberry there too now there is ex cognac cast as well so i'm i'm actually curious i don't have i do y'all know of any other bourbons that are finished in cognac casks i know there have been a few special releases there's been like the um brandy casks from um, Bardstown Bourbon Company finishes in Cast in uh, not Castle and King. Dang it! I always miss Copper and Kings brandy cask. But I don't know about specifically cognac casks. Have y'all had anything like that? Please let me know. Oh no, Adriana! I hate to hear that she's not feeling well. But drinking hot chocolate, that I do like to hear that. I love love good cho hot chocolate. I used to, you know what? Before I was into whiskey, I would buy all the fancy hot chocolates I could find because I just really loved hot chocolate. Like I wasn't even a coffee person back then. This is like back in like, you know, first couple of years of college, I had such a <laughs> hot chocolate collection in my house or my dorm. It was crazy. Um, no more scotch for dummies on Thursday now. It's on Sunday as well. Sounds like Thursday. I, I think, honestly, we do need to open up Thursdays a little bit. There's a lot of people that go live on Thursdays. I know there's definitely some overlap. I know Drew P. Whiskey goes on at six, which thankfully with, with Rock going to be going away for a while, that's good for him. But I know Perry, when he goes on, he's on at the same time as Drums and Drams, which is another awesome channel. Please go check him out. He's also a patron of the channel here. Um, so it's like Thursday nights are kind of overloaded. So it's kind of nice that like slowly, you know, maybe it's going to start naturalizing a bit. Naturalizing is not a word, but it's, I, I feel bad because I know people want to watch all of us. And I also don't want to overlap with someone else because we're uh, we've said this all the time but whiskey tube is out here to support whiskey tube we're not here to like compete and be like oh you know i want your viewers and stuff like that i mean it's nice when people cross over and watch both people but it's hard to do that when you're on at the same time so um dovetail has one in konya oh that's that's right I, you know what i was thinking it was something that it wasn't exclusively finishing finishing cognac and i think that's what it was it was dovetail that's a, that's a good point thank you brandon for that what's up brian brinicky Sagamore has a cognac. I haven't tried that one, but that's a good, yeah, that's a good one too. I love their Manhattan finish one. I've not had their cognac one. Bell Mead. Oh yeah. Bell Mead as well. Have not had that one either. So yeah, they're, they're out there. I just, they're just harder to find. Let me, let me go back into this. Cause I feel like I didn't get really a fair, I gave it a first impression, but I didn't give it a fair judgment. So let's, let's go back to it. Yeah. Nose is about the same, but I, I need, I think it needs to open up a bit of the palate. So let's see how it does. Going back in, it goes towards that kind of brandy note. It has like a little bit of like a, there's a certain like note that I associate with like a sour fruit, like a, not like a fruit that's gone bad, but like almost like when an apple is starting to like get really ripe, there's like a kind of a, almost like the smell of walking onto an apple orchard, you know, cause there's the apples that are on the ground that are kind of slowly like, I don't want to say rotting, but you know, rotting. It's kind of got a little bit of that on there. So I bet that's the cognac. That's gotta be at least from my first impression on that. Sorry if y'all hear the baby in the background. It's not mine. Don't worry. <laughs> um, Lord Shane Long says, Clifton, if you like the coffee flavor, you definitely need the Hyde Number no. 6 President's Reserve Irish Whiskey. Amazing coffee notes. You know, someone mentioned Hyde to me. I don't know if it was Ed when I had him on the stream to do Irish whiskey or not, but someone mentioned it to me and I, I had never heard of it. So I, it sounds like you're the second person to recommend it. So I got to check that one out. Love a good Irish whiskey, and I do like coffee notes, so. <laughs> yes, thank you, Brandon, for the re reminder. Yes, if you're watching the replay of this, hi, welcome. Let me know your comments if, you, if you're watching this because you are thinking about buying this, or if you bought one and you want to drink along with me, 
Let me know your comments down below. I'd love to hear what your experience is while you're trying it. Like I said, first impressions, and of course, hashtag replay squad in the comments below, so I know you're watching. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Brandon's usually, Brandon's usually hashtag replay squad, but he also watches live now, so maybe not as much anymore. <laughs> um, uh, did you go back and try the Thomas S. More Chardonnay cask? I did. I still was not a fan of that one. I revisited it because I saved some. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to come back to this. Revisited it. I don't know if it got worse, but I, I was not a fan of that one. I, I just, it has like a vermouth kind of aspect to it. I'm not the biggest vermouth fan. I do love a good martini, but I'm not a big fan of just vermouth on its own. So it was, it's a pass for me. I wouldn't buy it. But if you, if you see it, I think the Thomas S. Moore is a really interesting line. So honestly, just give, give them a try. If you try them once, they're not that expensive. They shouldn't be that expensive. Um, I just know Chardonnay was my least favorite. That Port one, Port one was amazing, and the Cabernet was also very good, but was not a fan of the Chardonnay, personally. Yes, Brandon said there was, and there's not, <laughs> they're leaving now, but there were 30 people in chat. What's up, y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in. That's a good number for me here on a Thursday night, so appreciate y'all popping in and um, drinking with me. <laughs> Hopefully. I, no one's telling me what they're drinking. Let me know what y'all are drinking. Okay, I'll ask one more time now that there's more people here. What are y'all drinking tonight? I'm sure I've probably missed some people saying it, but... I like knowing what y'all are drinking, or what y'all have been drinking lately. What's up, Juan? Good to see you. I'm going to also see Juan tomorrow. I'm going to stop by his house and load up my car with bottles for other people. <laughs> That's kind of what we do. It's what we have to kind of do out here. Now that we're not doing regular meetups, we have to, like, mule bottles back and forth to each other. I don't want to be mean, but... I'm not 100% sold on this this bourbon. There is some influence from the casks. It does have a little bit more like extra sweetness. Finish wise, it's a pretty medium finish. Now, I'm saying that only because I know what five year old MG Indiana bourbon tastes like, which is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, this is a fantastic base bourbon. I'm just looking at it with a triple cask focus in mind. So I'm expecting to see a lot more of those bright fruity you know usually I mean, especially when you have three casks I mean, you gotta think like dovetail those things like bam bam those are like punching you with that flavor that's the only downside about this it's not a bad whiskey at all it's a fantastic whiskey but it is it's what i say it's 60 dollars, which is not that bad of a price the old scout straight mgp picks are about 50 so it's 10 dollars more it does have some interesting cast finishes on it i don't feel like they impart enough flavor for me to be like you know i can tell that this is improved upon you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I definitely think it's a good whiskey. Would I buy it again? Maybe. I don't know. I can just get, I can get good five-year-old Indiana bourbon cheaper. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's my only qualm about this. I wish there was a lot more flavor on the, the palate. And the finish is also a bit short, so. But like I said, we are giving away samples. So if you, if you want to, you know, prove me wrong, you can always enter a giveaway with a super chat. I save one for you. Um, yeah, so there's a chance that I, I don't, I'll be like, I'm giving away this whiskey that I don't like. Please, that's why I wanted to correct myself. I like this. I think it's great. I just don't, I'm not impressed enough with the, the triple cask aspect of it. I think it's lacking some of that, that extra. Um, isn't it technically a whiskey, not a bourbon? Oh, because it's finished. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> so, but no, it's, it's a really good one. I just, I'm a little let down because I, I kind of wanted it to pop a little bit more. But, you know, for, for... Sixty dollars. It's not a bad buy. I just wouldn't seek it out if you can't find it. But I, it does make me curious. How is the rye? So y'all ready to move on to the rye? All right. Now I see y'all mentioning what y'all are drinking. Thank y'all. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, Sugar Kitty is drinking High West Double Rye Finish in Fume Blanc. That sounds fancy. Um, that's also <laughs> alkaline water with Cohen. Twenty Twenty One High West Boo Rye. Oh, nice. Um. Yeah, 100% Mustard said that the the Chardonnay cask was too tannic for him or her. Yeah, it, it's just a little off-putting. I was not a fan of that one. Donnie is drinking a bottle kill of Knob Creek Cast Strength Rye 2009. <laughs> Will be Heavy heavy D. Wait, is Heavy D your drunk name? Why have I not heard this? What, what hangout did I miss where you got the name Heavy D? Because I don't remember that. Um, Awesome, awesome. Lick the like and like the lick, <laughs> says Sugar Kitty. Yes, lick that like button. Please, I don't, endor I don't endorse licking your screen. Who knows where that's been, especially if you're on your phone, because the phone screens are pretty nasty. 
Um, got another super chat here coming in from Brian Brennicky himself. He wants to win a bottle of, he wants to win a sample of the Doc Swenson's. You know, even if, you know, as much as I didn't love that one, I still am giving away a sample of the 15 year Knob Creek. So if you want to get your entries in, do like Brian did. He says, if I win, can I get it hand delivered? Brian, hand delivered? Where? <laughs> Are you planning to come out here soon? I mean, if maybe in Vegas, maybe. But, I mean, I think it would be a lot easier to send it to you. <laughs> but you know what? You know, Brian, we'll, we'll work something out. I, I I know Perry's planning a meetup in May. I probably won't. I, let's be honest. I'm not going to make it out there in May. I have two other trips planned in May, so unfortunately not. But but you never know. Maybe in October for the Bastards Ball. Hmm. Still haven't got any info if I can go to that or not. But i got a hotel booked in case I do go. <laughs> so we'll see about that. I'll, I'll keep you all updated for sure if I get, end up going to that. So, we discussed this, but Cliffy was present. I believe it. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the Alter Ego Rye. Now, this one's very different. I was actually surprised by how different this one is. This one is aged in rum cask Solera Pyramid. So they basically built like a custom, what, how do they describe it? It's three American rye whiskeys blended and finished in our ex-Caribbean rum cask Solera. Finally, a rye that brings together connoisseurs and novices to agree on one great rye whiskey. This sample is from the first pool out of our Solero, where only a fraction of the oldest barrels are bottled. Enjoy the sneak peek. So this is a blend of four to six year old um, rye mash bills. I think, I think I have a little bonus info here, just exclusive for you guys. That's the general information that's out there, but I think I got some, got some exclusive info here for you about this rye. So this one is, oh, though they're straight up, they say MGP. <laughs> They also said MGP. So if you're curious about the bourbon, the, the mash bill of the bourbon is also MGP, five to six years old. Um, that one is 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% bal barley, uh, malted barley. And it's a blended with another mash bill of 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malted barley. So that's the bourbon. Now the rye, I got the little exclusive info here. These are both available beginning February, so February 1st. So they should be available in your market, hopefully. The rye is also an MGP rye, three to six years old, which is pretty good, pretty good age on that one. It's two different mash bills though. There is a 95% a 95% rye and 5% malted barley. Typical 95.5, you know, MGP rye. But there's also a 51% rye, 45% corn, and a 4% malted barley in there too. So they're blending a high rye rye and a barely legal rye. So we're gonna see how that does. It is 95 proof proof. 47.5% ABV. Um, and this was dumped, blended, aged, and bottled in-house at Doc Swinson. So, um, yeah. So this one, I'm very, very excited for this one. This one is Solera age. I mean, that's that's kind of cool. Like, that's... if I could be wrong about Solera, but I believe that just means that they are putting stuff into this cask, not quite, like, starting fresh every time, just adding to it. Tell me if I'm right about that. That's how I interpret Solera Cask. It's a term that I'm not super familiar with. I know Hill Rock does something very similar. At least that's how I think. That's what I think Solera Cask is. Uh, but y'all are the experts there. <laughs> yeah. So they pull for the oldest barrels and then refill with portions of the younger barrels. So it's, it's starting with the old stuff. New younger stuff is getting added to it, but there's still a little bit of that older stuff in there too. So let's go ahead and pour this rye. 95% ABV and or no, God, that'd be a lot. 95 proof and 95% rye for one of the mash bills. As the, as the military helicopter passes overhead. I don't know if y'all can hear that. It's like rattling everything in my house right now. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and give this Solera rye a try. I wish I could give a sample of this too. Unfortunately, I only have one extra sample bottle, so um, that's why I'm throwing in the Knob Creek 15 year, which by the way, if y'all missed it, Stick around because I'm going to be comparing the 15-year Doc Swinsons to a 15-year Knob Creek. See if I get some similarities there. So stick around for the end for that right before the giveaway. Oh, yeah. Y'all know. Y'all know I'm a sucker for MGP Rye. Oh, my God. I don't know what's happening outside. Hopefully, I'm not about to get swatted. Please don't let me get swatted right now. I love MGP Rye. It's so, it's such a rye rye. It's just so intense and bold with those rye flavors. Even though this is a blend of the 95.5 rye and a lower rye mash bill, it noses like a typical MGP rye, but it does. It does smell a bit sweeter. So 
there's an extra sweetness there that I think, of course, is probably coming from the rum cask. Y'all know rum imparts a lot of sweetness. Y'all have seen it on Angel's Envy. You've seen it on, um, what was the other one? Oh, the, um, the Barrel Seagrass. That one also uses a rum cask, and it adds a lot of sweetness to that. <laughs> the bottles behind me didn't shake. Well, this is my my eight bit speakeasy. Um, man, I wish I wish I had this behind me in real life. I mean, preferably not an eight bit, but I think it's pretty cool. I'm still working on getting a, a custom made background, but um, for the time being, I think I think this little eight bit background looks very very fitting. <laughs> By the way, I'm actually disappointed when with super chats. I thought I had set it up to do the like the do a barrel rolling that I used a long time ago. Let me see if it, hold on. Wait, why will this work? No, it didn't work. That was myself. <laughs> I sent myself $59. No. But I set it up so it was going to do the do a barrel roll, and I was going to wear my shirt and be like, you know, but it didn't It didn't do it. So now I'm a little sad. So I guess I'll have to try again next week and then um, <laughs> wear the shirt again because I wanted to. I wanted, I intentionally wore this shirt. But this is also available on bourbonbuys.threadless.com. <laughs> um Lord Shane Long says, do I like Woodenville, right? I do. That's actually one of my favorite um, releases from Woodenville. I like their special cask finishes, like the Applewood Stave. But the Woodenville Rye, I, I, I savored that sample I had. Thanks to our friend Bourbon Noob. Um, Patrick sent me a sample of that one. That one's so good. You legally can't age date Solera, though. So if they age bottle... Oh, I see. Well, Bubble Bath, that's a good point. But this is the first batch of it. So I'm wondering if that's why there's an age on this one. It does say three to six years. So it's I'm pretty sure it's not actually age date on the bottle. I just have a sample. So that might just be like insider info, like I said. That they, they may not age date it on the bottle. But um yeah, so this this is just a sample bottle, so it doesn't it doesn't really tell you. This doesn't have an age on it either though. So that's a good point though. Great point. What's up, Whiskey Crusaders Will? Good to see you, man. Definitely check out Whiskey Crusaders. They go live on Monday nights and also do uploads throughout the week. Cali kids are classy. Well, cheers. I'm not, I'm not going to complain about other people, but I will say, I think I think so too. I, I, I You know what? We need to have a California whiskey tube meetup. There's a good chunk of it. I know the Mashville's out here. I know I'm out here. There's also Bourbon Blind, I think, is out here. Is Bourbon Blind out here? And there's also, um, man, there's another channel. It's a couple that do videos. I don't remember their, their channel. Maybe they're Bourbon Blind. No, I know Bourbon Blind. They're a couple, but there's another couple. And I can't remember their name. I apologize, but I do. I do believe that they are in um, California as well. Okay, I knows this rye enough. Let's go ahead and go for a taste. Cheers, guys. Oh wow, wow. What was the proof on that one? Ninety-five. That may be my new favorite, not my new favorite <laughs> under $80 expression of MGP Rye. I'm not even kidding. It's It's got all the complexity and depth of the 95 five rye, 5 rye Mashable they have, but I think it's a mix of that, that higher corn Mashable that's also blended in there with the Solera rum casks that adds like a layer of like creaminess. It's like a creamy, sweet, um, oh man, I gotta, I gotta go for a second sip of that one. Remember, this isn't one, this one's only $40. It's creamy. It's definitely, it's definitely still drinks like a high rye rye. So if you don't like rye whiskey, you're not gonna like it. But as someone that does, it's like a little bit of a toastiness. It's like the sweet, sweetness is almost like a toasted marshmallow sweetness. Not quite as much as like a Migdor's Toasted Barrel Rye. Of course, that's, again, next level, over over $80. But it's hitting on that. Wow. I am I am loving this one. Um, Whiskey Mystery, thank you so much. Yes, mood, mood to Move reminded me. I think someone else said it earlier too. Um, thank you. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, what's up, Chris? I am back from picking up my car from a service. Lil has gone to get her nails done, so she will join in on the after party when she gets home. Well, thank you for the reminder, Chris. Um, so for those of you that aren't aware, those of you that are new joining tonight, we do have a Patreon, patreon.com slash bourbon bites. And I have a tier called bourbon megabytes, which is the $10 tier. Those guys get access to an after party hangout after every 
live stream on Thursday night. So if you want to hang out with Cliffy, as as my, my drunk name, if you didn't know, if you want to hang out with Cliffy after these streams every Thursday night, it's only ten dollars a month, and you get to chill with us for like an hour or up to like three. Sometimes they're honestly like four or five hours, but <laughs> we try to keep it like an hour or two before I have to hop off. But but yeah, so if you if you're curious about joining, there's also tiers higher that get you samples month to month, and also lower tiers that just get you access to our Patreon. And knowing that you guys are supporting me does mean a lot at any level. Y'all mean so much to me. So, but back to this ride though. Donnie says currently a one in four chance to win samples. Oh really? Oh yeah, because everyone's been doing five dollar super chats. Yeah, so y'all have a one in four chance of winning if you send a five dollar super chat. Um, or I guess it'd be one in five once you do it. So like I said, every dollar you super chat gets you one entry. So if you send five dollar super chat, you have a one in five chance of winning. Currently. <laughs> That's the disclaimer at the bottom of this text. It can change depending on how many more people entered. We're about halfway through, so get your get your entries in now. You're gonna win a sample of the after 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 effects. Alter Ego. I was like, after? What? Because I was thinking after party. Alter Ego Bourbon, Knob Creek 15, and some other goodies. So. All right. Let me, let me, let me go back for a second taste of this rye. Sweet. Creamy. I know I've already said these notes, but every sip, I feel like I'm learning more and more about this. Honestly, y'all, not going to lie. I don't know how I opened the tab earlier when I was looking up the price of this, and I see it's only forty dollars, and I see that there is at least fifty bottles remaining in my area. I might order a couple of these. Like y'all, I'm not even kidding. The the rye, the rye is that good for the price forty dollars. It's not it's not not cast strength, but it's getting up there in proof. Oh, now question: Have, have any of y'all seen this? Um, oh, Will asked a question. Sorry, I missed it. He said, um, how does rye present to you? Um, there's different ways. I, I do get a bit of the dill note, not a pickly note. There's there's that in some weird whiskeys, but it's, I always say like grassy, like a grassy kind of fresh cut grass, maybe some hay, like a barnyard hay. But sometimes I get minty too. This one isn't as minty. I think the sweetness kind of detracts from the mintiness that I sometimes get on a rye. Cohen, lift, listen off all the Cali YouTube channels. Dude, I may have to reach out to those channels and see what we can do. I, I think that'd be really cool. Of course, summer, uh, summer or fall, not not right now. Thank God, I'm literally, how many more days? I'm counting down the days till I can get my vaccine. I have seven more days, seven days, and then I can, I'm eligible. Now, who knows if I can find an appointment. So once I'm all vaccinated, we'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> Um, uh, Bubble Bath Bourbon says, I want to sample that right now. Man, I wish I had one to share. I only have a sample. But if I buy a bottle, dude, Bubble Bath Bourbon, just hit me up. I can, I'll send you a sample if I if I buy it. You may also be signed a drunk name if you show up to the half, after party. <laughs> oh, Cohen, I need to check out all these channels. I know these names. I know SoCal Dram Tram by name. I'm not aware of Drams on deck, though. I'm not sure who that is. So it sounds like, sounds like this, something can happen here. What's up, Don? Thanks for stopping in. Aloha. So, biggest thing now, let me, I hate that I didn't love the bourbon. How about this? If you join the after party tonight, I'm going to revisit the bourbon and see if I can maybe find more on it, but that rye, that rye is so good. So, we're in the last 20 minutes here, so what we're going to do is do our comparison between the 15-year cast strength Doc Swinson's Kentucky Bourbon and the 15 year Knob Creek, not cast strength, hunter proof Kentucky Bourbon. I think I've been wanting to do this for a long time. People say there's rumors that the, the Doc Swinson's is a Jim Beam product. We're going to find out because we're going to do a side by side. Not that, not that I can tell you for sure, but <laughs> we're going to hopefully get a little closer to solving that mystery by doing these little side by side. Next super chat coming in from Don Nishida. Here is two vaccines. Well, cheers to you, my friend. Yes. Please get vaccinated. It's 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 our first step back to normalcy. Um, whatever vaccine you choose to get, just just get vaccinated. I think it's good for the for the entire country. And it's sugar cane. Okay, these guys these guys want the samples now. Now I felt bad because at first I was like, oh man, I'm, I'm I'm crapping on the bourbon, but it's not bad. The bourbon is very good. It's just I wanted more from the triple cask finish. Sugar Kitty says, and don't forget about those fantastic coins. Oh, which fantastic which fantastic coins are you mentioning, Sugar Kitty? You couldn't possibly be mentioning the bourbon bites challenge coins. Available now for everyone 
um, no match value. <laughs> it's, it would have my light on. It's just like it's just like shiny, but no match value. Metal challenge coins available to you for twenty dollars. All you gotta do is Venmo at Bourbon Bites twenty dollars and send me your address, and you get a challenge coin which fits nicely over the stock Swenson glass to keep your whiskey fresh whenever you want to re-enjoy it. I am not good at this like advertising voiceover, am I? <laughs> I went for it though. I took the I took the bait, sugar kitty. <laughs> Appreciate that though. <laughs> All right, so let me rinse out these glasses real quick so we can do a fair comparison. That's a good point, Cohen. And I feel bad because Seven Grand does their virtual tastings at the exact same time as mine on Thursday nights. So I never can make them. And it's sad because I love Seven Grand as a bar. I went there all the time pre-COVID. And now I can't even do their virtual tastings because they do them on Thursday nights. So it just doesn't work. But when thankfully, hopefully, bars will reopen soon and I can go visit them in person and do real life tastings. Unless I do them on Thursday nights, because then I'm still screwed. So we'll see, we'll see. But I do miss I do miss seven grand. Ah, oh, that's awesome, Audrana. She says she said she got her second shot yesterday. Soon her whole lab will be and they can work without masks. Oh yeah. Man, I bet that's I feel for everyone that has to work with their mask all day. Like as much as we're like, it's not a big deal to wear a mask. If you're wearing it twenty four not twenty four seven, if you're wearing it eight hours a day or more. I get it's grueling. My husband works at Starbucks. He has to wear it all day. Trust me, I, I don't envy that. When I'm at, thankfully, I just started working at the office again. But when we're at our own little workstations, we don't because we're literally just like by ourselves. But I feel for everyone that has to. Um... Oh, thank you, Adriana. I didn't realize. See, yeah, yeah, it's it's really wonky with this with the Venmo. So you have to click on businesses. It is a business account. So. At Bourbon Bites is the name, but it's under businesses. Honestly, if that doesn't work for you and you want a coin, just shoot me a message. You can also send it my personal Venmo. Well, just you know, not not alert the government on that. Um, but it's it's easier for me to keep track of them through the business, which is why I created the At Bourbon Bites Venmo. Um, maybe you know what? If uh, no, that's on Streamyard. Never mind. I was gonna say like I have a little picture here, but that's on Streamyard. <laughs> um, Working Man Whiskey. Oh man, Bobby. I actually don't know him. He honestly was one of the first Whiskey Tube channels that I watched religiously before I even got into making videos. I really like his videos. I like his perspective on things. I know. I hope he's doing well. I know he was affected by the fires. That's literally the last time I like have checked in with him. I need to get up with that. So, oh uh, yeah, and Mrs. Linux Cat um, wears a mask all day because she's in healthcare. So, props to y'all. Um, <laughs> Donnie says shout out to Whiskey Mountains who is keeping up with um, the super chats because he is feeling that rye. <laughs> well, we're not, we're not going to go too much longer here. Like I said, about 15 more minutes to enter the giveaway if you want to win a, ch a sample of the, the Alter Ego Bourbon and the 15 year Knob Creek. Let's go to get these poured. Whoa. I'm feeling that, feeling that um, rum cocktail now. <laughs> I like have like a good bit of acid reflux sometimes. So when I'm drinking like cocktails with like fruit juice in them, it makes me very burpy. So I apologize. All right. Got to make sure I leave enough for samples for whoever wins the sample. <laughs> All right. So this is the 15 year Knob Creek bourbon, 100 proof, limited edition. Um, yeah. Basically the same Knob, Knob Creek mash bill, but we're going to compare it directly with cast strength dog Swinson's. This is the 15 year Kentucky bourbon. This says batch 11. Now that's the confusion that that's the confusion that's the confusing part so this says release number 11 107.2 proof 53.6 percent abv however when i was researching i saw that release number 10 was also the exact same proof so what's funny is if you go on um my store's website my store i want to say my store i mean knl wines which is like the biggest store in hollywood area um, they, their listing for this just says Doc Swenson's cast strength, 15 year old bourbon batch 10 slash 11. So I don't know exactly what happened here. Maybe they used the same, they had extra and they re-released it as batch 11, but either, either way, it's a 15 year non disclosed Kentucky bourbon whiskey. There's rumors. There's rumors that it's Jim Beam. There's also rumors that it's Heaven Hill. There's also rumors that it's Barton. So we're going to try it side by side with the 15 year Knob Creek because I don't honestly I don't have a 15 year Heaven Hill or a 15 year Barton to compare it to, but we're gonna do a little side by side with these two. First of all, I'm gonna review the Doc Swinson's on its own, but then I gotta do a little side by side because I, I gotta figure this out. Oh yeah, Adriana loves the 15 year Knob Creek. <laughs> so 
All right, so I got about equal portions here for it of the samples. But let's review the 15 year Doc Swinsons first, since that's what this stream's about Doc Swinsons. Okay, color wise, they're very similar, by the way. Mmm, that smells. It smells like a vintage bourbon, not like the age wise, but it smells like a, like a, not quite like, cause I've had some bourbon from the seventies, eighties. I have not had a nineties. No, you know what? I had a 93 bourbon once. Okay. I've had a bourbon from the past four decades. Um, it doesn't quite smell as much like a, like a 1970s bourbon, but there's a little bit more like nutty funk there. Like almost like an eighties kind of thing. Like some of the eighties whiskeys I've had. It's like nutty, but like dust dusty nut <laughs> I, that's such an off-putting like way to say it but it's like a dusty peanut kind of note lots of oak like dry like i think of like walking the plank in a pirate ship kind of oak like really weathered dry oak not freshly cut oak because i've gotten that on some whiskeys correct donnie this i don't have the exact info on the mash bill but it is that that 15 year yeah it doesn't say the mash bill but it's that, that weird one that everyone was using for a while. But I think Chicken Cock did one. Um, who, else did, who else did one of those those 15-year bourbons? Either way, Doc Swinsons was one of the first ones to do it. So we we know the mash bill. It's 70-something point five. I don't remember exactly. If anyone knows that mash bill, please let me know in the chat. I just don't have it in front of they didn't They didn't provide it to me with this info. So I don't know the mash bill on it. But it's it's one of those weird those weird ones. Um, lots of Nod Creek 9-year picks in SoCal right now. Yeah, they, they switched to doing more than nine years, haven't they? I haven't seen any of the old ones in forever. I got it on that train, though. I'm, I'm very happy that I did because I bought almost every 13, 14, 15-year-old that I could find. All right. This nose is really, really nicely. It's it's very wood forward, so I'm, hopefully it's not going to be over-oaked. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Cheers, guys. Like I said, proof is 107.2. It drinks appropriate for its proof. It's not too hot. Lots of oak. Almost like a pencil shaving kind of note. Um, dry, like really dry. I don't know how to emphasize this other than like, I keep saying like a pirate ship, but like an old, old wood chest or something. Like really old, dusty wood. But this is really nice. It's really pleasant, honestly. I, I, I was worried that it would be a little too over because 15 year when you're getting the 15 year category, sometimes things get a little little musty and a little like off putting. It doesn't have any of the weird stuff. It's got like tons of wood. So Adriana, you probably like this. So, that sounded that sounded like a really sexist joke. It wasn't. I'm talking about because you like Knob Creek, so you, you know the you know the wood. Wow. I'll just shut up now. <laughs> Sorry, Adriana. Alright, so okay, thank you, Sugar Kitty with the Mashville. Seventy eight point five percent corn 13 percent rye and 8.5 percent malted barley or barley i think so man you made that hard for me sugar kitty <laughs> yeah there's so many different releases of this mash bill this is really good now price point on this one this one's up there let me let me see exactly what the price is on this one um, this one is, like I said, batch 10 slash 11. This is $160. So it is up there in price. However, it's damn good. So let's find out. Let's compare it to the $100 Knob Creek 15 year, um, limited edition. This was $100. It is a hundred proof. So it's a little lower proof, seven proof points lower. <laughs> Thank you, Adriana, for understanding. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's go ahead and try the... 15-year Knob Creek. Let's know, oh, whoa, nose is so different. Is this not Jim Beam? Holy crap. So the, the Doc Swenson is like that dry, dry wood. This is rich. This is care. What the hell? I thought I, didn't I hate this one when I reviewed it? I'm pretty sure if you go back and watch my review of this video, I did not like it. Holy crap, that nose is amazing. Now, I'm just nosing. I haven't tasted it yet. It's caramel. It's really like deep deep rich almost like a berry pie some cinnamon as well 
Not as much oak on the nose. Let's let's go and let's go ahead and try the knob creek. Cheers. I see why I didn't I didn't care for it. That falls so flat. Man. Like it's those flavors are jumping out of the glass when you're smelling it. But on the palate, it's just maybe it's because it's watered down to 100 proof. This maybe it's because it's not cast strength. But that the the Knob Creek 15 year smells like a hundred dollar whiskey. It does not taste like a hundred dollar whiskey. Especially again, I know I'm spoiled. We had a bunch of the 13, 14, and 15 year old Knob Creek single barrel store bicks, which were 120 proof. So I am a bit spoiled there. Um, Donnie says I tasted it against a pick of Knob Creek. Oh, a store pick. You're right. I think I did. And oh yeah, that I'm sure that one blew it away. I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll give it another sip. Let me let me go back. It's good, and it really disappoints me because it's good. It's really nice, balanced flavors. Super com. It could be complex if you up the proof. But releasing it at 100 proof does more harm than good, especially at $100. This was honestly my biggest letdown of 2020. I'm going to be honest. As a Knob Creek lover, it was my letdown. But let me go back to the Doc Swinsons and do a little comparison now that I've tried both of them. Again, Doc Swinsons is cast strength. It's only 107, but it is cast strength, so there's that. Because even even if the proofs are... You know, even, there's like some scotches that are cast strength that are like right around 100 proof. But when you're not cutting it with water... The flavors are just that more, more, much more complex, even if they are not as high of a proof. But when you cut something with water, which they did with the Knob Creek, that just introduces that. You know, it mellows things out, which I'm sure they, they do it one or two reasons. One, it's too sharp and they need to like cut it down because they think it's too aggressive. Or, or two, they're trying to make more money and stretch their money because if they proof it down, they can get more bottles out of it. So, I don't know. I just was not impressed with the Knob Creek. But let's let's go back to the Doc Swinsons. That one, even at 107 proof, it packs a punch. Now, I know I compared these originally to see, you know, was the Doc Swinsons a Jim Beam? I still personally think it is Jim Beam. And I say that because I've had an old tub. An old tub has a very similar note to that dusty peanut note. I get it. Like, first impression of the old tub was that dusty peanut note. So I really do think that this is Jim Beam. Now, it's not confirmed. They'll never tell me. But I think this 15-year release, that weird mashable that Sugar Kitty posted earlier, I think it's Jim Beam. What do y'all think? Do y'all think it's Jim Beam? Have y'all tried it yet? Let me know. I know Brandon asked earlier, how does it compare to Old Carter? Brandon, I've only tried Old Carter once, like at your place. I don't remember exactly, so I haven't I haven't reviewed it on the channel. So maybe we'll do an Old Carter stream with you next time you're over. <laughs> um, so thoughts on the Doc Swinsons, 15-year. Fantastic. Delicious. I would drink this all day. You gotta consider the price though. It's hundred sixty dollars. I think. I think this drinks, like a one hundred dollar whiskey, which is a compliment. Don't get me wrong; it's definitely a compliment. It drinks like everything I wanted this to be. This was a letdown. The Doc Swinton's 15 year drinks like a high quality spirit. 160 puts it at a price point that's a bit out of my range. Honestly, at that price point, I would rather get a um, Barstown Bourbon Company, the Discovery Series 4, which I know is a blend. It was like 130 ish, I think. And I just bought a bottle of that today, or yesterday. And I think that's a better buy. It's, it's a lot more. There's a lot of crafting that went into that versus a single cask. But. Again, that's $30 cheaper. Yeah. I think it's worth it if you really are okay paying that and it's not going to like hurt your wallet or anything. I just think that for that price point, it puts it a little bit outside of my, my range, if that makes sense. Uh, Bourbon Batch 4 bottle is almost gone. Oh, you mean the Discover the Bardstown Bourbon Company? Oh no, I bought one. Like I said, I bought one. It's 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 waiting on me. Or like whenever it's ready, it'll be ready for me. Um, yeah, so really good. 
And like I said, I feel bad because the two bottles that I'm giving away samples of tonight are the ones that I said the least about, that I liked least. That's why if you win the giveaway tonight, you're going to get some extra surprise. I'll throw in a couple more samples for you. How about that? So you'll get these, but I'll also throw in some things that I really love. So... So like I said, last chance to do enter the giveaway. Like I said, every $1 Super Chat gets you one entry. How many entries are we at right now, Donnie, or Adriana? Um, I want to know how many people, what's your shot, what's your chances? <laughs> so I'll give you all a couple more minutes to do that. But until then, I'm just going to sip on, enjoy these whiskeys. Oh, yeah, Cohen, what's the giveaway tonight? Yeah, if you missed it, here's the last chance. I'm giving away a sample of the Alter Ego bourbon, Dog Swinson's. A sample of the 15-year Knob Creek, which is limited edition. You're not going to be able to find this anywhere else. So if, you, if you've been curious to try it yourself and see if what I think, it smells fantastic. It smells so good. I just, the proof is the only thing that lets me down. But I'm almost done with my bottle, so I want to give away a sample of that. And also I want to throw in a couple surprise samples too. So that's the giveaway tonight. Every every dollar come, super chat that comes in gets you entered for that. So I'll, I'm going to drink the Knob Creek while we, we'll give it, we'll give it two, two more minutes. One in 40 chance. There you go. So, with $1, you get one of four chance of winning this. The Knob Creek smells so good. I'm so disappointed because it smells so good. This is a cast strength. Did they ever do... They didn't do a cast strength with this one, did they? They did a cast strength with the 12, which I also could not find. The 12-year Knob Creek is really good. But they had a cast strength of the 12-year that... Oh, my God. Imagine it's freaking heaven. That's... Oh, man. That's my bucket list spot. If I could ever find a bottle of that. If any of y'all know where a bottle of that is, let me know. I ruined my, no, it's not because uh, it's not because I ruined my palate with the rye. The Knob Creek 15 year is good. It just needs, it feels too mellow for me. I love a good cast strength whiskey. And when I want Knob Creek, you know I want a single barrel. So if you like the Knob Creek 100 proof, oh my God, you're going to love that. You're going to love it $100 worth. Mm, debatable. <laughs> That's a good point. Sugar Kitty says with Discovery Series 4, they are using that same 15-year juice, but they are stretching it out with comp compatible whiskey, so you get better value. You get better value, like you said. They're not losing money on it because they're still selling it for one twenty one thirty, but they are blending it so masterfully. I honestly, I so when it popped up in my store, um, I had a little bit left of my sample that the distillery sent me of the, the Bardstown Bourbon Company dis Distillery Discovery Series 4. I was like, oh, do I want to pay $130? Do I want to pay $130? I went to go pour a little bit of sample out of it, took a sip of it. Hands down, I like click, I clicked buy in that moment. I was like, holy crap, that is so good. So that's the only reason I recommended that one over this one because it's a little cheaper, and I really think it's great value. This one is fantastic, but it's it's right outside of my price range. So I will not pull the trigger on the Doc Swinson's 15 year. All right, so I think we're ready to do our giveaway. So Donnie or Adriana, if you want to send me the list of names, I will put them on the Wheel of Whiskey, which y'all will see shortly behind me here. Um, please just shoot me a message, however y'all plan to send that to me. Um, and then I'll get it pulled up on the screen real quick um, and see who our winner is tonight for these samples. I'm so excited to give them away. Um, what's up, <laughs> I Whiskey She Wines? Hello, hookers. Uh, you're, at the, you're at the wrong street. Or, you're a little early. You're a little early, Sam. Hookers come out at the after party. Okay, we got okay. So Donnie, add that um Cohen just sent a five dollar super chat. Add him to the list. Okay, cutting coming in under the wire there. So <laughs> see Discovery Series, buy Discovery Series. Alright, yeah. You're you're in Cohen, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. He he's shooting a shot. If you win Cohen, I might hand deliver because we need to meet up because you you literally live so close to me. At least I think you do. Alright. So Donnie slash Adriana, are y'all emailing? How are y'all getting it to me? Are y'all emailing it to me or you're messaging me on Facebook? Rum in the giveaway. Um, it's not, but Cohen, if you win, you know, I might I might throw in some some rum. <laughs> uh yeah, so uh Donnie, Adriana, just let me know how I'm getting that list from you for the winners. And then we're gonna do the drawing. <sighs> this Knob Creek, ah, man, I wanna love it so bad. Dog Swinson's is fantastic, though. I honestly am very excited to try more from them now that I know their rye is so good. <laughs> and I'm sure the bourbon can be good, too. Okay, we got a list here. Thank you, Donnie, for sending that over. So let me paste these names into my wheel of whiskey here. 
All right, here we go. So y'all know what time it is. It is Wheel of Whiskey time. I'm going to shuffle them a couple times before we do the spin. Got everyone here that entered their giveaway. Thank y'all so much again. Y'all, seriously, your support really does mean a lot to me here on the channel. Um, whether you're a Patreon supporter or a Super Chat, really does help out the channel a lot. So without further ado, let's find out who won these samples and the little mystery samples that I'm going to throw in there too. All right, you, you guys ready for Wheel of Whiskey? I wish I was just like, let's spin it. There we go. Physical, physical. Our winner tonight is... Oh, just, man, that was close. I was like, Sugar Kitty won our last giveaway. <laughs> Literally, last time I gave away something, Sugar Kitty won. It's like, is it going to win again? But no, the man himself, Stanley Wagner Jr., the mash bill, is the winner of tonight's giveaway. Stanley, congratulations. If you want to do a, oh, I've already, I don't have enough to do. I was like, if you want to do a stream together, I'll do it. But <laughs> Stanley, congratulations. Um, I'll, I can follow you on Instagram, so. Um, I'll shoot you a message, let you know you won if, if you already tapped out for the night, but, um, congratulations, Stanley. And thank y'all again, everyone that entered the wheel of whiskey, <laughs> rolling Ouija board, Ouija wheel of whiskey. Oh, well, Will Henderson just sent a super chat. Well, Will, you just missed the giveaway, but appreciate you, man. <laughs> Will Henderson gave $5 super chat says cheers. Will, thank you so much. Um, he's the man. Y'all already know that. Yeah, congratulations, Stanley. Um, let's connect. I'll get you those samples over to you. Uh, but yeah, I think we're wrapped up here. Now, I will not actually be going live on Saturday, unfortunately. I'm going to a mini little local meetup. It's like a half. <laughs> it's like slowly getting back to normal. Like it's like a half size meetup, but it's nonetheless. I'm very excited for it. Thank you so much, Will Henderson. <laughs> um, so I will be. Oh, no, you're bad. I'm, I'm sorry. I missed the clubhouse. Thing. I got the invite. I apologize. So I will not be live this Saturday, but after that, I'm going to go back to my normal schedule. Thursday, I'm going to be on same time. And then the following Saturday, I think I have a really cool stream coming up. So if you if you are on our Whiskey and Gaming Lounge Discord, you already know about it. Which, by the way, if you're not, um, if you if you want to check it out, it's just bourbonbites.com. Um, I did that like it's going to pop on the screen, but it's not. It's our Whiskey and Gaming Lounge Discord server where we chat all throughout the week about random things, whether it's whiskey, cocktails, um, Adriana was asking about hot toddy recipes earlier today. We post some funny things in our memes and chug room. And we also have an 18 plus room. If you want to see, um, I was gonna say more of Cliffy, but I'm like, no, I do not post news. Don't follow me. I, I don't have an OnlyFans yet. Yet. But until next time, this has been Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a Gaming Twist. Cheers. And I'll see you guys next Thursday, but you'll probably see me before then because I will be doing the Blue Spot review. So cheers and have a